सेंचुरी कमर्शियल बैंक सरल बैंकिंग सब का We lost the game. So what was the moment where you lost? I don't think there was one moment. I think it was obviously over 100 overs almost. There was a number of points. Uh, obviously winning the toss and being able to bowl first was, was very important for them as it transpired. I think the wicket certainly got easy to back on in the second innings. Uh, and I thought we, we toiled manfully. We, we were probably a few runs short. We, we got to a position where we could have got a few more runs and to lose uh, the batsman who was set and playing very well in the manner that we did was a little bit disappointing. So we were perhaps 20 runs short of what we could have been. And then we didn't bowl very well at the start. We bowled too short. We got hit to the square boundary too often for my liking. And, uh, and they committed themselves to batting 50 overs. So that last partnership was a very good partnership. So we're just not good enough to win the game and quite rightly so. You had the top of the Do you think that uh, the start of the tournament was a bit tricky for you? Sorry, big what? A bit tricky, tricky tournament for you? Uh, I didn't understand that. A, a bit tricky start for you? A shaky start? Yeah. Oh, well, we've lost, we've lost the game of cricket, so <laughs> you, you're never prepared to lose a game of cricket. But, you know, we'll, we'll learn a lot from today in, in relation to the surface that we've played on. Uh, we learned a lot yesterday from observing of the first time playing in this tournament. So it's disappointing, but uh, there's areas for improvement. So if that's shaky, then yes, it's shaky. What's your expectation uh, when you play against Nepal with a big, uh, big uh, amount of spectators? Uh, well, well my, my job mainly is around preparing the players to play inside the ring. Uh, I'm sure for the players it'll be very exciting to play in front of such a big crowd. You know, unless maybe Rusty Tehran's played IPL, I wouldn't have thought anybody else. Uh, I know Cameron Stevenson has been involved in Big Back. So they've experienced big crowds, you know, but uh, the rest of the guys, I'm sure, haven't experienced a big vociferous crowd. So uh, we'll be encouraging them to embrace it and enjoy it. But for me, I'll be just preparing them to play inside the ring. So let's see. But it's going to be fantastic. And since we've been here, the support, you know, and the encouragement for not only the game and the home team has been outstanding. So it's exciting to be here. Do you want to say the same yeah, about yeah. Saturday, is it? Yeah, that's a big crowd. Well, it's exciting. It's a great opportunity uh, to perform in front of the spectators, and it will boost us up. I feel, and it will be a big challenge as well. So, yeah, we are looking forward to it. It will be a good challenge. Uh, you think that it's going to be the biggest match uh, that uh, US is going to play in terms of having spectators in the in the ground? Lately, yes. I think the last week came here was around quite a few years ago. I think most of these guys are come first time to Nepal, so yes, I guess. Yes. Uh, do you think your team was not supported much by the surface that you are playing today? Well, the surface was fine. I mean, it was just the few key moments that we dodged, like I mentioned in the match ceremony. Uh, we could have played a little bit smarter, both in batting and in So that's what we need to go and work on. Thank you very much. We're just going to jump to Peter. You have a question for Sarah. So uh, the uh, decision to put Aaron Jones up to open, he'd only scored nine runs in the four one up matches, and he's never opened for USA before. What was the rationale behind putting him up to open? Yep. That was actually my decision. We put all the pieces of paper in a hat and drew them all out, because that's how the batting's been going so far. Aaron's name came out first. <laughs> The um, 45 dot balls in the power play is is what USA had in the first 10 hours. That was something that USA struggled with going back to the Super 50 tour. It's only been a few occasions where USA has really had a, a positive power play. Is there something um, that you can pinpoint as to why the guys have had such a struggle getting good starts consistently over the last couple of months? Um. Like Coach said, firstly, the toss was a little bit important because they were moist and uh, it, was, uh, uh, it was moving around a little bit. But obviously, lately the way our batting has been uh, uh, going, we have a lot of work to put in there. But I mean, that's the best we could do and I hope we'll, we'll come back stronger next year. Just one more about Oman itself. USA's lost seven straight times to Oman. You've been there for three of those matches. Four of them have come in ICC. Uh, tournament play. Uh, you were there 
in Oman at Division 3 in, in November 2018, and then again in Namibia here again. Every single time in these ICC matches, it's been chasing. Oman has been successful chasing. What is it about the way they approach uh, the chases that makes them such a challenge to come up against? I think they, can, they take the game deep and they build good, good partnerships in the middle. Uh, and they have quality players. Uh, uh, players who are street smart. Like they use the conditions right. It's credit to them. But all three games I think had gone till the last over or at least the last few overs. So we're there, we're close. It's just, I think all three times I lost the toss as well. So they bowled first, they backed their fast bowlers to get early wickets and they have got early wickets every time they play. Okay, thank you, Peter. Any final questions? Yeah. Do you think you're sort of spinners uh, who can choke them? Are you talking about Saturday? No, no, no. Right. Yeah. Sorry, today? Yeah. yeah. Do you think you're sort of spinners? Short, sorry. Do you think you're shorter spinners? I think we have the spin power. We have three qualities. It's just that the wicket got a little better. I think we hold one or two loose balls in another. It's release the pressure. So that's an area which we can work on to talk about. Okay, thank you, thank you so much everyone. Thank you.